Originally, I was really, really sad. And I was so sad that it's my last season of college soccer because I feel like I've really like found a home here in Oxford and I can't imagine leaving, but as it gets closer to the games, I'm very excited to play and just end on a good note. Ball to control the tempo, and right now, Rebels are doing just that, and there's a goal! Yeah. Aubrey Mister. We've seen it before with Aubrey Mister. Is it hard to believe that three years has passed at this point for you in college? <laughs> yeah, it feels like it was yesterday. I can very vividly remember living in the dorms and walking to class and walking to FedEx. It's so weird that it's all coming to an end. Last year, for you even not even being a senior, you were a team captain for the team. What was your reaction whenever you realized, oh, they think this of me, that I could lead the team in this way, that they're going to make me a team captain? Yeah, that was honestly like a very big shock because I think you always grow up knowing that like the captains are seniors, they're the oldest girls on the team. So it meant a lot to me that the coaching staff believed that I could hold such a role like that and be like a good influence on the younger girls and on the field and off the field. So it meant a lot to me and I think it put a lot of confidence, my confidence in them too, to understand like what a team needs. You're a member of the Tri-Delta sorority. Yes. <laughs> so not a lot of athletes tend to rush because it is a lot on their plate. What made you decide, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna add this to being a student athlete and sort of what has the payback been for you and being able to be a part of that sorority? So I transferred here, so Greek life was something that was very, I did not understand until I got here. I'm from the Midwest and Greek life is not like it is in the South, but I had a couple teammates that did it and I was kind of at a spot in my career where I was kind of unsure if I still really loved soccer and I needed something to kind of fill that void. I definitely found like a sisterhood outside, as cheesy and cliche as that sounds. <laughs> I found one outside of soccer and I feel like it's helped me regain my love for soccer because having a space outside of athletics reminds me how much I do enjoy the sport and being in that environment. That what you said reminded me because we had, you know, a teammate sitting here earlier and she said that Coach Molly has helped her regain her passion for soccer. And I'm not saying that's what she's done for you, but what has it been like playing under her as a coach in the past year? I would actually fully agree with that statement. I think my first two years of college were kind of hard because college soccer was not exactly what I had always dreamed it was going to be. And Molly really came in and pushes a really hard emphasis on the fact that we're more than athletes and like we're people and we have passions and we have dreams outside of soccer. But along with doing that, she being a female has been such a good role model at what it looks to be like strong and having someone model that for you, I think is what has brought back the love for soccer for me personally.